Lila Sophie, the ballet that premiered in Copenhagen in 1836, is now being performed by the Cape Town City Ballet in Menardville Park. I'm joined in studio by Angela, Daniel and Johnny, who look a bit different, I think, than you usually look, don't you? Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome to studio. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, Angela, I'm going to start with you. Won't you tell us a little bit about this ballet? Um, the ballet is about um, a boy or man who's um, engaged to a girl called Effie and on the day of his wedding he sees a sylph and um, he's not sure if it's in his imagination or if it's for real um, and she lures him into the forest but he tells her that he's engaged to be married that day um, but she succeeds into luring him into her world. Um, so he follows her and leaves his fiancée on the day of his wedding. It's quite scandalous. It is. So you <laughs> play the part of the soul. Yes. And um, is it a challenging role? Is it something that you enjoy um, doing? I, I enjoy the role because the sylph, she's quite naive and curious and she is a little bit silly. She doesn't understand the consequences of her actions. Um, and uh, it's, a quite, it's quite challenging because it's a, it's a role where you have to seem like you're very light and um, there's a lot of jumping. So uh, the stamina is, is quite a challenge. Daniel, you play yes. the role of James, uh, the That's strapping right. young man who falls in love with the sylph instead yes. of his fiance. Tell us a little bit about James. Uh, James is a young Scotsman who is about to get married to his fiance Effie when uh, the sylph keeps appearing on his wedding day um, and basically starts falling in love with her. And well, his role is basically is torn between the sylph and Effie. And, uh, well, it has a tragic ending. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, um, have you danced in a kilt before? Is it challenging? Is it liberating? It is, it is different. Normally, I don't dance in a kilt. Uh, this traditional Scottish kilt uh, kind of makes it a bit tricky when you turn. Uh, and the material is quite heavy. So it's a bit different to what I'm used to. But I guess the more I practice, the easier it gets. Johnny, I don't even know where to begin with you. You look absolutely <laughs> wonderful, first of all. How long does it take you? Um, it took about an hour this morning. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> and that's, that includes making the nose, especially for the... <laughs> so the nose isn't yours? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, did, I needed more drama for this role. Yeah, I decided it just needs something a little bit extra. Tell us about Madge. Yes, well, as you can see, uh, we, me and Daniel are wearing the same tartan. So we basically are the same family. But um, years back, there's history or baggage there. So she got, uh, she's like an outcast of the family. And uh, I've been living on the moors for years and years and years. And then on his uh, day of the wedding, um, I appear just sitting by the fire warming my hands. And we have an uh, there's a personality catch between us, me and James. And from there on, the, this, uh, this uh, tension between us um, goes right through the ballet and goes way back in the years when, when, we, um, when the family uh, just threw me out of the house, basically, in Scotland. And that's when um, all the, uh, the revenge and the bitterness started to set in. And on this particular day of his, um, his, his engagement, uh, I'm not taking any prisoners, and I'm out for revenge, and I'm going to get him. And I do. So and this do. ballet has absolutely everything from love to revenge to family drama. It, it's certainly a lot to wrap your head around. But yes. isn't it incredible, um, Daniel, I'm going to go back mm -hmm. to you, that you're dancing a ballet that first premiered in 1836. Is, how does that feel? It, it must be an honour. Uh, it is an honour. It's a very nice role to do. I enjoyed the ballet. Um, yeah, I guess it was, uh, it's a still one of the oldest ballets who's still living. 
And uh, there were two versions, but we're doing the more famous one choreographed by August Bonneville in 1836. And um, yeah, definitely I enjoyed doing the role. Now, this, as I understand it, was the first ballet to be choreographed on point. Angela, what does that mean? Well, um, the Sylph, especially for my character, she needs to seem like she's floating. So because we are a Sylph, so we're supposed to like, that's why all the choreogra choreogra choreography, choreography. choreography <laughs> <laughs> is about jumping. She needs to, you need to seem like you're almost flying. And, you know, when they first did this ballet, the girls weren't on point and they had to be lifted by a special, like, um, machinery because they hadn't learned to go on point um, so yeah and that's why she also has the wings Johnny what is the most challenging thing for you about playing Madge oh it is a little bit challenging because um, unlike the Sylph and James they're on stage for quite a long time for long periods like five ten minutes fifteen minutes at a time um, Whenever I make an appearance, it's less than five minutes, and I have to make an impact. And every, every time I'm there, I have to make it count. As, you know, uh, what I'm trying to say has to come across very clearly. I can't, um, yeah, that's basically the hardest bit, to get into it short, um, in short space of time. Well, just by looking at you, I'm sure that you're doing a fantastic <laughs> job of it. The makeup helps enormously. I'm sure. Um, Daniel, where can we see the ballet and how can we get tickets? You can see the ballet at Maynardville Open Air Theatre and you can get the tickets at Artscape Dial a Seat or at CompuTicket. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.